ladies and mostly gentlemen today we're going to talk about the brand new Warson Gulch revamp which has come into the game in patch 8.1.5. Uh, if you didn't catch my Arathi Basin video I did that uh, earlier this week if you want to check it out there is a link in the top right of this video right now or in the description below this video. And today we're going to check out the Warson one and compared to the Arathi one there's not any major changes to like the size or any like extra little bits or anything like that it's quite literally just a direct up res and it just looks so bloody fantastic so the way we're going to lay this out is checking out the horde area first then the alliance and then we will look at the middle part and then we'll just wrap it up there and you guys can go home hyped okay so as i said checking out the horde area first and this is the warsong lumber mill and there are some major changes straight away. Looking between the original and the new one, uh, the new one just blows the old one out of the water. And it's the small details that always get me, and you guys already know that. Every time I look at anything, it's always the smaller details that really impress me the most with these uh, with these upgrades. I mean, straight away, I think similar to the Rathi one, they made it look like it belongs in the zone more so. Uh, obviously, uh, Wilson Gulch is between the Barrens and Ashenvale, as you can see from the aesthetic of the uh, the two bases. And you can see up here on the top left is just like a little pathway leading into the Barrens. And uh, that's not there on the original. On the original, it's just kind of closed in and there's no obvious entrance uh, from the zone into this battleground. But yeah, as you can see here, you can't actually get up there. It is a little bit of an optical illusion where it looks like there is a path going up there, but there actually isn't. But that's really cool. And what I like about this, as I said, is they've literally got the original Wilson and they've just kind of gone and replaced every single part of it with these new higher res models. And when you get down on the ground level, it just looks so incredible. So when you go inside into the flag room, the difference is night and day. Uh, I love the new use of shading and shadows to really bring out the assets of this room. If you look at the old one, it's kind of very light and uh, a bit too happy, honestly. This one's doomy and gloomy and hoardy. And yeah, I love it. I love the horde flag that's kind of been stitched together. I love the massive saws there because obviously this is a lumber mill at the end of the day. And uh, Horde Boxes is actually a little room as well with uh, with a few little shields and swords, uh, which obviously has been there before, but before it just had like a shield and some axes and stuff like that. So now it looks a bit more like a small armory that they've kind of made out of a cupboard, essentially. So if you move out from the flag room, there's a room with a saw in it. Uh, originally this was completely static and didn't move, and now it is a spinning saw cutting through two pieces of wood. Uh, it would be really funny if you could like run in, if you run into that you die or something like that, that would be kind of cool. I think it's just there for aesthetics, and it is kind of cool. I know a lot of people were saying in the Arathi one with the spinning saw that it's probably going to lag out the computers. That'll be interesting to see if that actually does anything. Um, for me, it's completely fine, but uh, we'll see once the actual battleground gets going and there's like more people in there and uh, yeah, see if it actually lags out anyone in particular because that could be a bit of a disadvantage if your computer sucks. The ramp leading up to the upstairs bit has now had a massive improvement. Uh, it looks like it's made of like giant tusks or something like that, which is really cool on the sides of the uh, the ramp there. And obviously on the walls, you've got these saws, which look really cool. Obviously the replacement for the spinning saw. And uh, yeah, again, with these huge fires and shading and the colors just looks so incredible compared to the old one. It, the old one really shows its age when you compare it to the new one. I think before, obviously we had nothing to compare it to, so it seemed okay. But once you see these up reses, you just realize like, wow, this thing is so out of date. And you can really understand why they chose to up res these two battlegrounds. So the path leading up to the roof area and the roof have uh, not changed much really. There's still the same amount of logs, still the same amount of pieces in the way and stuff. There's no new things to dodge or get in the way of. Uh, it's all exactly the same in that regard. It just looks great, honestly. It just looks so much better than it was. I didn't actually notice this on the old one because it is on the old one, but on this new one, it's a lot more obvious and it looks really great. Uh, there's actually a waterway that comes down with logs on it and that goes into the mill and spins the big thing. You can see like water splashing off of it now. It's a lot more detailed. And as I said, it's, it's something you was there before, but I never really noticed it. D did you guys notice it? I never even knew that was there. Honestly, just looking at these kind of revamped Barons buildings, all it makes me want to do is have them revamp the Barons, because I would absolutely love that. The Barons does look okay, but I, I wish it was just the original Barons design from vanilla with the up -res buildings from like BFA, because I think a lot of the up -res buildings do look good. Uh, obviously, with our Classic coming out, we will have uh, the old Barons back, which is really great, and the old Wilson Gulch as well, so if you are worried about going back to the old Wilson, Classic WoW is waiting for you. Overall, I really do like the Horde base. I think the use of 
up res trees and up res fences and buildings and things really bring the zone to life. I don't think the ground has actually had too many changes, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty much identical. It's just had these new assets planted on top of them to make it look a lot better, in my opinion. So let's move on to the Alliance area. Actually moving from the Horde area to the Alliance area on the ground level is really cool because the actual, the lighting changes. And I don't think this happens in the original one. The lighting actually changes. If you look up, you've got these awesome sun glares coming through the trees and things like that. And uh, and it's just a, a massive difference, honestly. You do genuinely feel like you're in a different zone, uh, which is something that you didn't get with the previous one. So straight away for me, the instant difference here is obviously the lighting and the shading. I think they've done a fantastic job making this look a hell of a lot better. Honestly, if they felt lazy and they just could have got the original buildings and put some decent shading and shadows and, and maybe up the colors a little bit, it probably would have looked a lot better. But they've gone whole hog here and they've changed pretty much every asset in this little part of the battleground. So I think for me, one of the main changes is the fencing. So the fencing originally was kind of this low res kind of vine looking thing. Just kind of looked like a JPEG image, honestly. It just looked a bit crappy. Now you've got these HD thick branches uh, creating a fence and making it look a bit more uh, authentic, really. Not just kind of like a painted on picture. These actually look like branches that are wrapped around these, uh, these rocks to make a makeshift fence for the Night Elves. If you look over to the right hand side of the map you can see that the archway has had a massive upgrade. Uh, previously it looked like something from Warcraft 3, uh, now looking really great and uh, up res to the kind of standard of BFA and it, this actually kind of reminds me of a lot of the new Darkshore which has had an up res recently and uh, I, th I believe they've kind of found their feet with the way that they design new Night Elf buildings and I think they look great honestly. There is actually a few small changes to this battleground. If you look just to the entrance of the Night Elf area, there is now a rock and a tree in the way. And more to the left, there's actually another rock as well. Uh, will this have line of sight issues? I'm not actually sure. Uh, potentially, it could be a new obstacle for people to not get hit around and kind of break line of sight. Uh, not too sure on that one. It is new though. I don't think it was there on the original, which is kind of interesting. So moving inside the flag room now, uh, you can see some major differences straight away. The original banners kind of have this old logo on it. They now have this new fresh logo looking really great. Uh, the actual flag area itself is slightly risen from where it was previously. I mean, that's not going to make much difference, but it's worth noting. Yeah, again, you know, it looks really good, kind of shaded and not as bright and not as kind of color washed out as the previous one. The floor looks really good as well, where before it was just kind of a bit, you know, pixely and horrible. Uh, there's now some new plants on the wall as well, which make it look really cool and more in tune with nature, similar to what the Night Elves like. And uh, yeah, overall, this flag room looks pretty damn great. And I can't wait to see a flag in it. I don't know if they're actually updating the flags as well. I would imagine they will be because I think the low res flags really wouldn't match uh, the aesthetic of this brand new battleground. The actual tunnel going up to the flag room looks really great as well. They've kind of got this, uh, it is kind of a rock tunnel, but they do have these vines hanging down from the roof and uh, it makes it look really cool and, and kind of like they've kind of dug it out of the mountain and just created their own little sort of thing where, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. I think it looks really great, honestly. I, I'm a big fan of the, the tunnel leading up to it. Obviously, you know, you've still got your area where the buff is. You've still got your pathway leading out to the top roof bit, which has not changed at all. Uh, again, similar to the Horde one where it's exactly the same, just an up res and an all round improvement. Overall, I do like the Alliance area. I think they've done a really great job with it. I absolutely love these sunbeams coming in from the trees. I think that really adds some to this area and uh yeah but i do prefer the horde one honestly i think i think the use of the panoramic view behind going into the barons and uh, having the zeppelin in the in the background as well is a really cool touch as well uh, so let's briefly talk about the middle area uh, nothing really has changed i think one of my favorite parts here is once you get into the kind of barons half of it you've got these kind of uh these sand drifts coming across the screen when you're running obviously they make no difference to the gameplay but i think it's just a cool addition to uh to the zone and it kind of adds into the fact that you are going into a different zone and and the surroundings have changed but my overall thoughts on the Warsaw one is that it's good obviously with the arathi one there were major changes with the buildings and some of the designs actually but this is essentially exactly the same and i think with warson if it's not broke don't fix it uh, so I think they've done a really great job with this and hopefully once it gets going and people start testing it out We hopefully shouldn't have too many changes in regards to the flow of the battleground but Then again, this is PTR so it is subject to change potentially So let me know down below what you think of these changes if you prefer the Warson changes or the Arathi changes And what do you like and dislike about them? I'd love to know what you guys think So before I go I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons YouTube channel members and Twitch subs You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways links are down below 
So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. We've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members and a merch server on Streamlabs. And I'm also now streaming on Twitch.tv slash WizardGM if you want to check me out on stream. I've been streaming every single day, streaming some ESO, streaming some World of Warcraft. We've been having a good time on Twitch, so Twitch.tv slash WizardGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.